common law explained in 60 seconds. If you are under common law, you are to cause no harm, injury or loss to your fellow man or woman. Harm, injury or loss. These three elements cover every eventuality. How does one access the common law? Via a trial by jury. Not to be confused with jury trial. How does one get a trial by jury? I require a trial by jury. Not request, not please may I have, I require. That is it in a nutshell. Common law must be simple for the common man or woman to understand it. Common law, a deeper understanding. You are born perfect in God's eyes with almost unlimited rights. Your rights only end when you encroach upon someone else's rights. An individual's rights are not outweighed by the collective's rights. Property is the essence of rights. But your first property is your body. No one has any authority over you unless you consent to it, until you cause harm, injury or loss to your fellow man or woman. Your consent can be gained knowingly or unknowingly, spoken or unspoken, by your action or inaction. Silence can be implied consent in their maritime legal system. Common law, navigating the authorities. Thou art innocent until proven guilty. Thou have the right to remain silent, meaning the right not to incriminate thyself. Thou can maintain silence by stating I do not understand to every single question asked by the authority. Not just verbally, but all written forms, statements, etc. Thou has the right to decline legal representation. As solicitors and barristers swear an oath to the bar, their primary duty is to uphold the legal system, not to serve thee. For it to be a crime, there must be willful intent. There's a big difference between an accident and an intended injury. In the event of a dispute, who decides? Take the decision out of the hands of magistrates and judges who operate under maritime law and decide thy fate upon a balance of probabilities. State, I do not understand, I do not consent. Instead, place thy fate in the hands of thy fellow man and woman. State, I require a trial by jury. A trial by jury is thy right under common law. All twelve must find thee guilty, i.e. beyond reasonable doubt. A trial by jury decides upon both fact and law. A trial by jury can ignore any legal statute in reaching their verdict. This little known power is called jury nullification not to be confused with a jury trial which can employ a majority verdict and does not have the power to judge legal statute, the law. Thus, a trial by jury is the ultimate power of the people. Thomas Jefferson, who was one of the founding fathers of America, said, I consider trial by jury as the only 
anchor yet imagined by man, by which a government can be held to the principles of its constitution. And note that he said, the only anchor. In a society where people have made the authorities their God, they live in fear. It is up to all of us to exercise our common law rights.